This video is entitled An Introduction to STEM Programming with Python 3. This goes with Chapter 2 and is specifically entitled Other Bases Binary. I'm Dr. James Renault from Shawnee State University and I'll be taking you through this. In this video, we will be covering what decimal numbers are, base 10 numbers, the kind of numbers you're used to every day. The positional notation for representing numbers will go into binary numbers, base 2 numbers, which are how the computer actually counts. We'll cover the remainder method for converting decimal to binary. We'll cover the positional method for converting binary back to decimal. And I'll show a couple of functions that will let you do some binary stuff within Python, including how to create a binary constant. The numbering system that most of us use in our day-to-day -day life is known as a decimal number or a base 10 number. Each digit in a decimal number represents 10 different values, the numbers 0 through 9 for each individual digit. We write them using a positional notation where the leftmost digit, for instance, of an integer, the... Uh, um, no, actually the rightmost digit of an integer contains the smallest part, the smallest power of 10, 10 to the 0. And as we move to the, to the left, the power of 10 increases. So it, uh, but that's the way we, we write decimal numbers. Decimal numbers were kind of created probably because we have 10 fingers and, and that's, why we, that's why we like to count in groups of 10. We can see the positional notation here that the number 123.45 is written, you can really think of it as 1 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 to the first plus 3 times 10 to the zeroth plus 4 times 10 to the negative 1 plus 5 times 10 to the negative 2, where the first digit on the left of the decimal point is 10 to the zeroth power, or 1, multiplied by 1. And the number on the right of the decimal point, the first number on the right of the decimal point, is multiplied by 10 to the negative 1, or 0.1. You can see that the integer 987654321 can be written, again, by backtracking from the positional notation, we can see it as a series of powers of 10. We can convert any positional numbered decimal number into uh, a list of powers of 10. Binary numbers. Think about it. Modern computers were born, well, without hands. Maybe in the near future our computers will have hands and be animatronic and robotic and all of that. But for right now, let's just think of the computer deep down inside of its brain as a series of switches that turn on and off or contain the numbers 1 and 0. If we were only born with one finger... How would we count? Well, we would probably count using the binary method. Um, you count by using binary, by th using powers of 2 instead of powers of 10. So the rightmost digit of a binary integer would be 2 to the 0th, or 1. The next one would be multiplied by 2, the next one by 4. We'll see more of that in the next couple of slides. So here we have binary numbers, and a binary number is written as a series of ones and zeros. And I put a little two there by the binary number so that we know that it's not a decimal number with ones and zeros, but a binary number in base two. So you can think of the binary number 10110 as a series of one times two to the fourth power plus zero times two to the third power plus 1 times 2 squared, plus 1 times 2, plus 0 times 2 to the 0, which is 1. And we convert, do that multiplication, just kind of ignoring those terms of multiplied by 0, because you know that's 0. So that's 16 plus 4 plus 2, or 22, base 10. So the number 10110 binary is actually 22 decimal. In another example, 11101 can be written 
through the same uh, process of positional notation and powers of 2 as 1 times 2 to the 5th plus 1 times 2 to the 4th plus 1 times 2 to the 3rd plus 1 times 2 squared plus, um, plus 0 because 0 times 2 to the 1st plus 1 times 2 to the 0th power giving us 61 base 10. So the binary number 111101 is 61 decimal. As we're working with binary numbers, learning your powers of 2 are going to be something you're going to need. And as a computer professional, keeping many of these powers of 2 in, in your mind because you'll see them repeated throughout your programming and throughout other things that you do in the IT and, and IS uh, business. Powers of 2, let's just go through them. 1, 2 to the 0, 2, 2 to the 1st power, 4, 2 squared, 8, 2 to the 2nd power, or, yeah, um, oops, 2 to the 3rd power, slide's wrong, 2 to the 4th is 16, just keep doubling, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, and, and you know, there are some ones that you'll get to learn, like, Two to the uh, two to the eighth power being two fifty six is a is a common number because that's how big a byte is when we get into discussing that in later slides or later presentations. Um, six five five three six, which is two to the sixteenth power, is another common power of twos. Now, I would really like you to take a moment, pause the presentation. And take an ink pen and write these numbers on your fingers. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, well, I'm going to do it a little backwards, 32, 64, 128, 256, and 512 on my fingers. With Once you do that, then you can count in binary, kind of like the computer counts. Let's do it. 1. 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 4, 5, 4 plus 1, 6, 4 plus 2, 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's kind of cool. With both hands, you can count to 1,023 on two hands by using that binary notation on your fingers. Think about how powerful that is that most people can only count to 10 on their fingers, and now you can count to 1,023 on your 10 fingers. Now you see one of the reasons why the computer is so much better at math and stuff than we are at times. Now you may ask yourself, well, Dr. Renault, how do we convert a decimal number to a binary number. We do that using the remainder method and dividing by 2. For instance, let's convert the number 101 decimal, base 10, to a binary number. We first start by taking 101 and dividing it by 2. We don't want the decimal answer of 50.5. We want 50 remainder 1. So um, 101 divided by 2 would be 50 remainder 1. We then take the 50 and bring it down and divide it by 2 and say, well, 50 divided by 2 is 25, remainder 0, okay? 25 divided by 2 is 12, remainder 1, because 12 times 2 is 24. Then we take the 12 down, get a 6 remainder 0, bring the 6 down, get a 3 remainder 0, bring the 3 down, get a 1 remainder 1, because 2 goes into 3 1 times with 1 remainder. And then we bring the 1 down and get 0 remainder 1. Once we're done with that process, we write the remainders down in backwards orders. From the, the first one we found will be the last one. So we start at the bottom of our list, like, like you know, like over there. There we go. Oh, yeah, well, there. <laughs> um, we start with this number. And write one one zero zero one zero one. So we start at the bottom and go one one zero zero one zero one. So one one zero zero one zero one binary is 
101 decimal. Now, you see why we put the little the little uh, uh, um, little little suffix there, the the little uh, mark, so that we know that it's a, do, a decimal number versus a binary number. In earlier slides, you saw me convert a binary number back to a decimal by using powers of two. So I'm not going to have a slide on that at this point because you've seen that when I defined what a binary number was. Now in Python, you can use binary numbers. And if you're in a program and you want to put a number in as a numeric constant, as an integer constant, you put the number zero and the lowercase b in front of the number. So if I say 0B101, that's going to be the binary number 5 or plus 1. Um, you can also convert an integer into a string that uh, contains a binary by using the bin function, and we'll see these in the next slide. Here you can see that I have the binary literal of 1011010, and uh, I have a 0B in front of it that tells Python that this is a binary number and not a decimal number. And so when we print A, we get 90, which would be base 10. We can also convert a decimal number like 989989989 to binary by using the bin function. The bin function returns a string. It doesn't return a number. It returns a string with 0b and a series of binary digits. So it makes it really great for outputting numbers in binary. This concludes this introduction to binary numbers and how they're used in Python. I'm again Dr. James Renault from Shawnee State University. This presentation is copyright 2019 by me. You can contact me at jrenault at Shawnee State University or at shawnee.edu. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. And I'd like to say thank you for watching.